Hi, welcome to Duck Tricks tutorial. Today we are going to show you how to create consistent characters in Midjourney. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's get right into it. And for us to begin creating these characters consistently, what you can do is open your Discord account and go to your Midjourney server. And here, what we will do today is creating characters like these ones, where we will be learning how to create consistent images like these that you can use into your KDP Amazon account. So here you can see that it has similar or similar images that I have, where we can definitely incorporate that or um, modify that as well, but while maintaining the character's image. So here, for example, what you actually need to take note here so that you'll be able to create consistent images like these ones is that first is that you need to name your character. Like here, I named her Scarlett Jones and the second one thing that you need to take note as well is the age what is the age of your character whether it's an old lady child a teenager you can definitely incorporate that here when generating a prompt you can also incorporate as well the hairstyle the clothing and also what illustration style you'd like to incorporate or you'd like the image generated to be in so once you have all those details, you will be able to create a character. But it, since Midjourney will provide you a, four different images, you'll actually need, need to choose from those images. So what we'll do here is that we will start creating our another character here. So for example, we will name the character here, Amber. Then once we have the name, we will set the age of our character. Here. You can also add words like beautiful so that um, your character or the AI will generate you beautiful images as well. So here, let's just make sure that we have the correct name. Here, so you can also incorporate as well the age you can actually have it in phrases. So you need to make sure that you have it in phrases and don't forget the word um, years old so that the, the, um, the meter and bot will identify that the number that you indicated there was for the character's age. So here I wrote Amber, a beautiful one year old baby. And then we'll input the hairstyle can, with a hairstyle, you can incorporate the color of the hair. So you say black hair with bangs or black hair, short black hair with pigtails, depending on what you'd like. So once you have the hairstyle, you will choose as well the clothes of your character whether it's wearing a dress or a t-shirt depending on what you like you can definitely incorporate that here so here i added the image a large white ribbon headdress and then you can incorporate the hairstyle
And then once you have the hairstyle, you can also think of what type of illustration the character would be in. So if you'd like it anime style or manga style, you can definitely note that here. Or in my case, I actually like the watercolor effect on the characters, especially if you wish to write a um, children's book or if you will be using this for a for publishing books for your Amazon KDP, I would lean into using either watercolor or pastel illustration style depending on what you'd like to achieve. So here I added the all the details in a prompt just by clicking forward slash pro imagine and then I inputted these words like the amber the one year old and then you will be provided with this cute images here of a little girl with the character reference or the character that we've described. So here, the fourth one actually got the image where I indicated the white bow. The others actually did have other color of the bow, but I find the third image here cute. And what I'll do is I'll be creating another image similar to that one. So what you can do is you can actually click on V1, or if you want to create any versions of one of those images, you can actually just click on V1, 2, 3, 4, depending on which quadrant the image falls in. So here, let's say for the third image, we'll click on V3, and then we can actually add more prompt into it as well. So from here, what you can do is just wait for the image to fully load. Then here it has provided me the variations of the image, but I also want the original third image that was generated to be upscaled. That actually is what I'll be using for the character reference or the base of the consistent character that we will create today. So what we will do from here, and once that we've upscaled the image that we've chosen, is that we need to get the seed number of this image. In order for us to get the seed number, we actually need to add a reaction on to the um, image that was upscaled by Midjourney Bot. And another thing is here as well is that you need to copy as well the link of the image. When you click on open browser, you will be routed into your browsers to view the image. And then you can copy the link from the address bar. And then you can paste it here. Along with it is that you need to save the original prompt that you've created as well, so that you will be able to create consistent characters. So there are three main informations you need to take note of. The link of the image. So here is, as I mentioned, you can add a reaction, make sure that the reaction that you added is an envelope, and then Midjourney Bot will send you a direct message with all the details about the image. So here you have the job ID and the save number as well. So what you can do is click on the seed number. So as I mentioned earlier, there are three things that you need to take note of. The original prompt that you added and the link of the image and also the seed number. So in order for us to create consistent characters, we need all these details so that we will be able to create the characters that we want. So let's try to create an image using these information. So what you can do is just simply copy the original prompt and including the seed number and then just click on or type in, in forward slash imagine and then make sure as well that at the end of your prompt with the seed number you add the double dash so that would be after the illustration style you put space and then dash dash seed number seed and then space then the number of the seed and here you can once you have all these details, you can actually add the few things that you want your character to do. For example, hugging a wolf or riding a wolf, depending on what you like. So here we have the character riding a wolf. 
you can open that in to the browser so that the image would be larger and you'll be able to zoom it in as well. So, so cute. You can see that they may not be identical to each other, but these images are similar to the character that you've created here on Midjourney. So you can actually create more things with your characters here. You can actually um, add a few details. So instead of writing a wolf, you can uh, in, um, put there maybe reading a book or eating a cake. And then Midjourney will definitely generate that for you. So here, then we just incorporate that. So you can add a few more details here into the prompt, but make sure that you don't change the original prompt that much so that you will be able to create the characters similarly. So here, just generate that. I just modified the image here with I'm having the character wearing a dress. I just want to create a character that would show the full body so that we will be able to create more actions here. these images are actually very similar and another thing here as well is that you can actually add more details like if you want to example if you want your character to ride a bike or sit on a branch like these ones here it's really cute depending on what the story tells into your amazon kdp um, book or the one that you wish to publish you can definitely incorporate that here so that it would connect more into your story and that's basically it that's how you will be able to create consistent characters here on Midjourney. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.